Riding a bike in the rain is part and parcel of cycling. Many people out there, however, they don't necessarily enjoy it, but the way I look at it is that your skin's waterproof, so what have you got to lose? However, your bike parts can take an absolute battering from the elements, in particular, the drivetrain. So today, let's take a look at how to get it spotlessly clean so that it works perfectly for you on your next ride. Tools required for this job working on the Shimano Durace transmission are as follows. First up, you're going to need a chain tool, that's to split and obviously then rejoin the chain once it's nice and clean. You're going to need a joining pin too, or if you've got a different type of chain, possibly a missing link to reconnect it. A cassette and lock ring tool to remove the cassette from your free hub. It's important to do that to get it nice and clean. 5mm Allen key, that's to remove the cranks. 3mm Allen key to remove the derailleur pulleys. Now this special tool here, this is a crank insulation tool from Shimano, that's to remove that preload uh, cap which sets the crank into position. A Torx T30 to take the chain, chain rings off of the chain set. A couple of brushes here with stiff bristles so that you can really scrub away and get as much dirt out as possible. A plastic container, essential basically for this job so that you can put some degreaser in there and allow everything to sit. The degreaser, uh, I buy five litres of that for just under £10, that's about $10 or 10 euros. Incredibly cheap and does a brilliant job. Some workshop towel to clean up any mess. And finally, some gloves to protect your hands. Depending on the degreaser you use, some is actually quite harsh on your hands and really you want to protect them because, let's face it, they're going to get pretty oily during this job. Now make sure you find yourself a location such as a garage, a shed, a workshop or even outdoors depending on the time of the year. Reason being, if everything goes wrong and you end up spilling a load of degreaser, uh, you're not going to get in trouble from anyone else. Now whilst you could use one of these, so this is a chain cleaner which ultimately the chain runs through, you fill it with degreaser and you turn the cranks and the chain gets nice and clean, the cassette, the chain rings and the jockey wheels don't actually get that clean through using it. So this is why we're going to do a full degrease and clean of all those components individually. Now first up we're going to remove the rear wheel from the bike and why? Well it's going to remove any tension in the chain there because the cassette's not going to be holding it in place. Now if you've got a joining link you're laughing because you can use a set of uh, master link pliers to remove that link. However, we've got a joining pin, so we're going to use a chain tool to pop that out so we can take the chain off. Right, so now that you've taken off your chain, you're going to want to place it in your container. Try and keep it as flat as possible in there. And then once it's in, grab your degreaser and carefully pour it in. Try not to spill any. Try and put enough in so that it actually covers the chain. So what I'm going to do now is actually leave the chain in the bath of degreaser there so it can do some of the hard work for us. Uh, and next up I'm going to remove the cassette from the free hub. So now for the potentially messy bit. So with a stiff brush basically you're going to want to scrub away at that chain for as long as you desire, to be perfectly honest. You're not going to damage it by doing so. Obviously, if you do leave the chain in there forever, then the degreaser could possibly uh, contaminate the chain. But for the short amount of time we're going to be doing it, it's going to be all right. Uh, make sure that you work it into the rollers and around the pins as much as possible, just to loosen off all of that dirt, grime, existing oil, everything. Run the chain through your fingers too and make sure that there's no stiff or graunchy feel in there at all from any bits of grip that get in between those rollers and pins. Then what I can do with this degreaser is actually wash it off with a tap because it's water-based so that can remove all of the degreaser from it and then it's simply a case of drying it off. So you could do that with a towel or an old rag, something like that. Alternatively, an air compressor, if you've got one that's super simple and does a fantastic job, or a hairdryer, or even the radiator. So it's now time to clean up that cassette. Personally now, I would put either just one sprocket or one cluster of sprockets in the degreaser at a time. Uh, that way it's easier to work, there's nothing else to get muddled up with. 
Now, depending on how filthy your chain was, you may be able to reuse the degreaser. If not, make sure you dispose of that carefully. Now, the process for cleaning a cassette, very much like the chain, don't be afraid to give it some good old elbow grease and really work hard on the brush to try and loosen as much dirt and grime as possible. A little tip here is a toothbrush. That way you can get into all the nooks and crannies of a cassette. So in between the teeth and also inside of all these parts here, as well as the inside of the cassette. So next we're gonna remove the jockey wheels from the bike. So take them out, give them a good clean up with some shop towel or an old rag. If you've got sealed bearings on them, you could possibly revitalize them if they're feeling rough. So put them in between your fingers, give them a spin around. If there's any rough feeling at all, you can pop off the seals and re-grease them. But in the end, you are gonna to need to buy some new ones. So I'd recommend just doing that anyway. Uh, other pulley wheels, they actually have bushes in there, which are really simple to just remove and then drop a few bits of lubricant on there and reassemble and you're good to go. So also it's worth cleaning the inside of the derailleur cage here because you can see it does get quite a bit of grime built up there. So next up, let's clean the chain rings. And they're not always that easy to clean when they're on the bike because sometimes you can have an odd shaped tube or an oversized bottom bracket and you can't get in there as well as you'd like to. And also, well, we wanna clean the cranks too. And also that bottom bracket spindle and we can't do that without removing the chain set. So let's do that next. So whilst we're here, have a quick check of the bearings too. These are absolutely fine, which is good. It means one less job to have to do today. Next up is the chain rings. So depending on how they're fixed to the crank, in this case, it's with a T30 Torx key. Just simply remove the bolts, put the chain rings, into the degreaser and then scrub away, just like all the other components. However, just bear in mind that you may well have two Allen keys. Make sure that they have a correct size because you don't want to slip and round off any bolts when removing them. So the next step is to actually clean up the cranks themselves. So what I suggest basically is to get an old rag or some workshop towel, dip it in some degreaser and then simply rub it over the crank to remove any old grease or grime or dirt that's on there, as well as the actual spindle here of the chain set. Now, it's just a case of reassembling everything onto your bike. A few final pointers though, grease up those chain ring bolts. If you don't, then they do risk being basically cold seized in there. And that's not ideal because you may well end up having to drill them out. Use some grease too on the spindle here of the chain set if you've got something like this. Uh, it'll also prevent water actually getting inside of the bottom bracket. Also, put a few bits just around here on the serrations too. Now, pulley wheel bolts, that's something which some people think you should grease, others think you should use Loctite for. Uh, most manufacturers these days actually use Loctite, so I would advise that too, a medium strength one. Finally, the chain. Now, don't go dousing it in loads of oil or anything like that because you're just going to attract in all that dirt again. So pay good attention and get really close in on those rollers and pins and just apply it there. Now, let me know in the comments down below what video you would like to see next in Maintenance Monday. And who knows, maybe I will do it for you. Now, remember as well to like and share this video with your friends. And also check out the GCN shop where you can get things like this apron. Now for another great video, click down here for the latest GCN Tech Show.